Welcome back, my name is Last Snow Meal, and today we're gonna be talking about Cyberpunk 2077. These are exciting times for Cyberpunk fans because we got a lot of info regarding E3 this year and what to expect from CDPR. First of all, we got info from Adam Badovsky, who is a studio head, that Cyberpunk will be available in the public zone as well. This means every presentation is also going to be held in public and not only in private. Now last year we only had the presentation behind closed doors. This year there will be both, as I said, public and private presentations and there will be slight alterations in that, a private one will be a bit different, but that is for major websites to have exclusive new info to write about and we are going to find out about everything they've seen on their articles, so we are covered on that side. And also, the presentation itself will be different, because they had a full year to work on the things we saw, and also new things like the net will be shown, because they didn't finish it last year, and that's why we didn't see it. And because, like, previous year was all about, let's just show them the gameplay and look at the feedback from the people, because they were really afraid that we are not going to actually like uh, the, the new redesign of how Cyberpunk is going to look like. But because the reception was amazing, and even though some people expected a, a third-person perspective and we didn't get it, but at the same time people were excited, and now they had a lot more time to polish all the elements and show us new ones. Also, we got a new redesigned male V look in a form of a wallpaper, and it is a lot different than before with more facial details and a different look. For example, the samurai jacket has a different color on the collar, so this could mean, again, not confirmed, that we will be able to customize those colors, or it might differ from our characters and our choices, but my assumption is that just this jacket, and maybe other clothing as well, will have more customization options. I mean, they can create robots, why not also give you a jacket that changes colors, it's pretty straightforward. When it comes to facial changes, he looks more realistic in this design, in my opinion, with uh, more facial structures like the bones and everything to make him look more human, and the details are incredible, and I'm hyped to see if they also update the female look of V. At the same time, you will be able to customize your own character and create uh, the character how you want to play it, so you don't have to look like this. This is not a predefined character, so on that side, you are covered. We also got a lot of new questions about the gameplay. Yes, gameplay is also considered to be public this year, so everything uh, that um, they show like, most of that stuff is going to be public, which includes the gameplay, it's not going to be like last year. Now, to go more in-depth, he is holding a new pistol, a revolver one, which could be Remington Stormbreaker pistol from Cyberpunk 2020. Now, there are other revolvers like Arasaka Briareos, but if you look at the gun itself, it's more of a Remington model, and hopefully we see more in the upcoming gameplay, because I love revolvers, and... You know, playing with one is gonna be epic, and I can't wait to see how much they actually worked and polished the gunplay, because they did say that they worked on gunplay, and it is going to be different, I mean, slightly different than before. On his jacket, we also have Crystal Jock title. They are old school hackers, and they actually use viruses and apps instead of virtual reality interfaces that other netrunners use, so that's a very interesting detail. We also have a new shirt, this could be available in the CDPR store soon, it's a cool design, looks like a, a smiley face, you know, with a lot of uh, pills, I don't know. And also, on the jacket we have a new badge and a new patch. One is, uh, the, the, the badge is Night City one, and another one is like an army patch, maybe it has a deeper meaning, if you know, comment down below. So we definitely have a lot more info now, expect this to be broken down on the podcast this Sunday. They also launched their official Instagram, so check it out, expect more posts from them there. And that is it for today, I'm excited that uh, CDPR is willing to release more info about the game, at least about E3, and then, you know, as E3 comes closer, we're definitely gonna get more leaks, more stuff to talk about, especially about the presentation and all of that, so I'm really hyped for that, and E3 is like, what, 18, 17 days, so uh, expect the live stream on this channel, it's gonna be epic and we're gonna have so much fun. And that's it for today, subscribe down below to stay tuned to all the new cyberpunk info and videos. 
Also tell me down below, are you hyped for the game and as always join our amazing community on Twitter and Discord. This is LKM signing out, stay classy everyone and bye bye.